An Auburn, Washington police officer named Jeffrey Nelson was convicted in 2024 of second-degree murder and first-degree assault for the 2019 shooting of homeless man Jesse Sari outside of a convenience store. This case has become a landmark moment in Washington's criminal justice history. Nelson's conviction marked the first time a police officer in the state was prosecuted and found guilty of murder under a revised law, making it easier to charge officers for on-duty killings. This law, passed in 2018, removed the requirement for prosecutors to prove malice in police-involved killings, a unique standard to Washington that previously made it extremely difficult to convict officers. Nelson, who had been on paid administrative leave since the shooting, faces up to life in prison for the murder charge and up to 25 years for the first-degree assault charge. His sentencing was set for July 16, 2024, and his case had garnered significant attention due to the implications it holds for police accountability in the state. The case has highlighted the importance of revisiting legal frameworks that govern police actions and has spurred renewed discussions on law enforcement accountability across the country. The incident that led to Nelson's conviction occurred back in May of 2019, when Nelson confronted Sari outside of a convenience store in Auburn, Washington. Nelson was responding to reports of Sari acting erratically, throwing objects at cars, and causing a disturbance. When Nelson attempted to arrest Sari for disorderly conduct, an altercation ensued. Then, Officer Nelson punched Sari several times and shot him in the abdomen. After a brief pause, Nelson fired a second shot, striking Sari in the forehead. Sari died from his injuries at the scene. Nelson defended his actions, claiming that Sari had attempted to grab his gun during the struggle and that he fired in self-defense. However, video footage of the incident showed that Sari was on the ground, reclining away from Nelson after the first shot, raising questions about the necessity of the second fatal shot. Prosecutors argued that Nelson's use of force was excessive, unreasonable and in violation of his training. King County Special Prosecutor Patty Eeks emphasized during the trial that Nelson disregarded his training, quote, at every step of the way, end quote, leading to Sari's death. This case was not Nelson's first use of deadly force. In fact, Sari was the third person that Nelson had killed during his career as a police officer. In 2017, Nelson fatally shot Isaiah Obit after responding to reports of erratic behavior. In that case, Nelson deployed a police dog to subdue Obit and then shot him twice, once in the torso and once in the head. The city of Auburn later settled with Obit's family for $1.25 million. Back in 2011, Nelson also fatally shot Brian Skamen a Vietnam War veteran with a history of mental illness during a traffic stop. Skamen had exited his vehicle with a knife and refused to drop it when Nelson shot him in the head. Despite these incidents, Nelson was cleared of wrongdoing in both cases. Sari's death, however, led to greater scrutiny of Nelson's actions and the broader issue of police accountability in Washington. Siri's family, who described him as a kind-hearted individual who had fallen on hard times after aging out of the foster care system, expressed relief at the guilty verdict, viewing it as a step toward justice. Elaine Simons, Siri's former foster mother, said, This has been a long five years for a semblance of justice. It has set a precedent for police officers to do what is right. In the aftermath of the verdict, Nelson's attorney filed a motion seeking a new trial, citing concerns over the jury's decision and requesting a new judge. Nelson's defense team argued that the jury may have been influenced by factors beyond the evidence presented in court and that their client deserved another opportunity to present his case. The attorneys also pointed to the emotional weight of the case and the significant media coverage which they claimed could have swayed the jury's judgment. The request for a retrial has added another layer of complexity to a case already fraught with legal and social implications. The case underscores the ongoing challenges in holding law enforcement accountable for their actions, 
even in states like Washington, where legal reforms have been implemented to make prosecutions more attainable. It also raises important questions about how the justice system navigates the balance between ensuring public safety and protecting the rights of individuals, particularly in cases involving marginalized or vulnerable populations. As the legal proceedings continue, the case serves as a critical moment in the broader national conversation about police reform, accountability, and the appropriate use of force. The outcome of the retrial request will undoubtedly be closely watched by advocates for police accountability, law enforcement officials, and communities across the country. Whether or not a new trial is granted, the case of Officer Jeffrey Nelson and the death of Jesse Seri will remain a significant milestone in the ongoing effort to re-examine the role of police in society and the standards to which they are held. What are your thoughts? Should Officer Nelson be granted a retrial, or should the original conviction stand? Share your thoughts and opinions with us in the comment section. We'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to like this video and become a subscriber, and hit the bell icon to get notified every time we upload something new. Thanks for watching till the end, and I'll see you in the next one.